Hello. Hello. I need a website. How much do you charge for that? Uh, it will cost around thirty to thirty-five thousand approx. How much you charge? I'll charge ten thousand rupees for that. Hmm. Ma'am, it will be approx twenty thousand. Okay. Thank you. I'm really confused. Who is charging the right price? This is what the experience you will face when you try to figure out the cost of your website. In this video, I am going to explain seven factors that determine the website price. If you are interested, please continue watching. Hello, this is Anonna Banerjee, and you are watching my channel. You and Impact. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates. Today's subject is very interesting. You will find how the website cost varies from almost zero to an unlimited extent. Here, mainly two types of pricing are involved: one-time cost and yearly renewable cost. Now, let me explain the seven factors. Number one, price of your domain name. If you have seen my earlier video on four steps of website development, then you already know what is a domain name. If you missed it, don't worry. The link is in the description. Normally, the cost of a domain name depends on the extension. Most popular and common extensions are .com, .org, .net, .info, etc. Sometimes you may be interested on country-based domain names like .in, .org, .in, .co, .in. Nowadays, some new type of extensions are becoming popular. For example. dot club dot music dot academy dot digital dot app and many more i will give you a link in the description where you will find the domain prices for different extensions now if you are looking for a domain name that has high search demand that name may be available as a premium domain premium domain cost very high because domain brokers book it in normal price and resell it with high profit for branding purpose you may want to book a name with several popular extensions in that case your yearly recurring cost will go a little high later i will make a separate detailed video on domain names now let's move on to the next point number 2 cost of web hosting depending on your requirement you have to choose the web hosting type and on that basis the cost will vary this cost is also renewable like domain name i have already made a video on different types of web hosting you can find the link in the description a shared server is the cheapest and the dedicated server is the most costly your consultant will choose the right server for you i will recommend not to compromise with the server quality because a better server will make your website to load faster and reduce downtime you can find a link in the description that will give you an idea of different types of web server prices number 3 the cost of website security currently it is recommended to have an ssl certificate installed for every website to ensure a minimum web security also as i explained in my last video it will help to improve your search engine ranking this basic security measure will add a extra cost for every year you can incorporate even more security features like site lock code guard etc for that your yearly recurring cost will definitely go high later i will make a separate videos on other security features for a website number 4 the cost of website design website design creates the first impression of you or your brand on digital platform in two ways you can make this design and that determines the price there are so many free website templates available on the internet you can just download it and change the content as per your need this way your design cost reduces to almost zero but to stand out on the web you must portray your originality in design your design should best reflect your personality your business and above all your brand a well planned logo typography color theme layout style composition all together create the look and feel of your website you have to hire a professional designer to do this 
Nowadays, a new type of design has become popular that is called UX or User Experience Design. This type of design is mostly used in application-based websites where user interacts with the web interface. So you can understand, to do a professional well-planned design, you have to expand your budget. Number 5. Cost of Web Programming If your website is static, then there will be no use of web programming. But if it is dynamic or it is application-based website, then programming takes a major part. You can watch my video on the static and dynamic website for better understanding. Your website price can go up to any extent due to this application part. Because you can do anything and everything using the programming languages and database. Your consultant will choose the perfect programming environment to develop your website features. For example, PHP with MySQL database will be a good combination for online shopping portal. For banking purpose, Java may be a good option. Prices vary with the complexity of website features and use of languages. Moreover, in case if your website requires any third-party paid software like Payment Gateway, SMS Gateway, etc., then it will add some more extra cost to your project. By using free open source content management systems like WordPress or Zoomla, you can reduce the programming cost almost to zero. These open source tools will work mostly for simple presentational website. But here you may have to compromise with the quality and the security. I will discuss more in details regarding the use of free open source content management systems in one of my next videos. Number 6. Cost of Content Writing and Copywriting If you want to give a professional touch to your website content, then you have to hire a content writer. The aim of content writing is to engage your online audience and make them understand your product or service. But to create a sales pitch, you need a copywriter. The aim of copywriting is to inspire your audience to take action. It also uses search engine friendly keywords for better visibility on the web. It is quite obvious that the cost of copywriting will be higher than mere content writing. I will make a detailed video on this subject later. Number 7. Cost for Photography and Videography Use of good professional photographs and videos can transform your website even with a simple layout. Nowadays, video backgrounds are being used in the website homepage to demonstrate your brand in a better way. If you want to give a professional touch in this area, some more cost will be added to your budget. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please write down below. Please like this video if it is helpful to you and share among your friends on social media WhatsApp groups so that it may help others as well. See you in the next video. Bye.